Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be on chapter 12. If you have your Life of Fred Apples book, go ahead and pull that out. And we're going to be on page 81, and that's chapter 12. And the title is called A Leak. Water was shooting up into the air from the leak. Fred didn't know what to do. He had never been on a boat that was leaking. He tried sitting on the leak. That didn't work. He was too light. He ran down the stairs to the kitchen. Then he ran down another flight of stairs to the game room that had a bowling alley, a chess set, and a pool table. He stopped to look at the chess game. The White King was in trouble. There are six different chess pieces. Once you learn how each piece moves, you can start to play. The rooks, for example, can move vertically or horizontally. You now know one sixth of all the chess moves, but there was no time to waste. He headed down another flight of stairs to the library. Right there on the fourth shelf from the top was a whole section on boating. He looked through the boating titles, boats with bowling alleys, bathtub boats, Kansas ocean liners. Fred couldn't believe there was a book on Kansas ocean liners. He took it off the shelf and opened it. The pages were blank. He continued looking how to spell yacht, boat talk, your stern is in the back fixing a boat leak. When Fred saw the last title, he shouted, perfect, and pulled it off the shelf. Life of Boats, Fixing a Boat Leak, As Serious as It Needs to Be, by Captain Bly. Fred turned to the table of contents, which was in the front of the book. Table of Contents, Chapter 1, Very Small Leaks. Chapter 2, Regular Size Leaks. Chapter 3, The Titanic. He took the book over to one of those sofas, sat down, and began to read. He knew he didn't have a very small leak, so he skipped chapter one. When Fred saw the picture of the Titanic, he couldn't resist turning to chapter three. The story of the Titanic. In 1912, the Titanic was the largest passenger ship in the world. It was her first trip, her maiden voyage. She was heading from England to New York City. Ships are often called she rather than it. Titanic was a ship that had almost everything. She had a swimming pool, a gym, libraries, and barbershops. The best rooms had expensive furniture and fancy wood panels. There were four electric elevators. In 1912, the use of electricity was very new. The most expensive ticket for the one-way trip was over $95,000 in today's dollars. Titanic was considered a very safe ship. It was divided into large areas called compartments. If a leak developed in a compartment, the watertight doors could be shut. Even if four compartments were flooded, she could stay afloat. She hit an iceberg, which damaged the ship over a length of 299 feet. A football field is 300 feet long. Five compartments were flooded. Five is greater than four. She sank. Fred wondered how many watertight compartments there were on his boat. He ran up the stairs from the library, passing the game room floor, passing the kitchen floor, and up to the top of his boat. He noticed two things. First, he saw that the leak had stopped. Second, he noticed that the boat had run aground. Okay, are you ready for your turn to play? Did you pull out a pencil and a sheet of paper? Ready? Let's begin. Number one, Fred looked at the two trees. The one on the right was deciduous. 
Its leaves fall off every winter. The one on the left was an evergreen. Are Christmas trees deciduous or evergreen? Number two. What time is it now? Number three. Two plus five equals what? Number four. Seven minus one equals what? Number five. What is the fifth day of the week? And number six, name a set with 10 members in it. Okay, here are your answers. That was it for today. I hope you learned something fun. Are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you tomorrow for chapter 13. Bye.